Hi again, it's me, Mrs. Cryer. I've been noticing recently that a lot of you have changed your wallpapers on your laptops. It shows up in the computer lab as the same thing. And I'm really, really impressed that you were able to figure that out. However, I've also been noticing that a lot of you are doing custom wallpapers as opposed to choosing some that Google Chrome gives you. So I just wanted to kind of go over how to do both of those so we make sure that we're doing it all the correct way. First of all, you're going to start up here in the upper right hand corner and click those three pancakes. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to do it with a standard um, wallpaper that Chrome gives you. So after you've clicked the three, three uh, pancakes, go down here to settings. You aren't going to need to use any of these things right now other than the settings. So click on settings and this pops up. Again, the only thing you need to worry about is this where it says set wallpaper. Don't click change any of the other settings. Don't click on any of those check marks. None of this stuff. Just leave that alone. So click on set wallpaper. Now you can see there are a lot of pictures that Google Chrome gives you to choose from. And if you choose one of those, it'll immediately change. All right. They're all some beautiful places. These are all places around the world. So I'm going to put that back to where it was. And now let's say you wanted to do your own thing. Let's see there's a picture on the web that you really wanted to use. All right. So clicking on custom would be the way to do it. But you have to have a picture to choose from because you're going to go to plus. And then you have to choose your file. So if you haven't previously saved a file, you have to go do that. So let's X out of here for a minute. We'll close all of that up. We'll close that. Close that. Now, most kids, when they've been trying to get an image of their own, they've just been going up here and typing up cute puppies or something, whatever it is that they want to find. And while that's okay, what happens with Google searches is it's not always safe for kids. So I want to show you a different way to do it and you should be able to find most of what you want. So on the eboard, you can see this tab called search links. Click there and then go down here to where it says image search. What this is, is this is a custom search engine that I've created that gives you safe places to search for images. Is it possible that you'll get an inappropriate image? Yes, but it's much smaller chance than if you were just going on regular Google. So click on search now. And then in here, you can type your search terms. So I want to do cute golden retrievers. Those are my favorite dogs. Okay, so from there, you'll get web and image. See these two tabs right here? You've got choices for websites and you've got choices for images. Click on image. Now we have all sorts of pictures of golden retrievers. But wait a minute, I needed puppies. So I'm going to add the word puppies. And I'm going to go to image again. Now I've got the puppies. So I'm going to choose the one that I want to take a look at. I'm going to click this one. Let's see what we come up with. And look at all of these different images that I have to choose from. Look at this. Oh, look at these little guys. I'm going to choose this one. So I click on that image. And now I can either click on free download. And I can choose the size. I'll choose a big one. Click on download. And it'll ask you to do a CAPTCHA, which is essentially a code that allows the computer to know whether or not you're a robot doing this automatically. So all you have to do is type in what you see here. And that says dog river road. I think it's RD. Sometimes they're a little hard to see. And if I got it right, it'll download right down here at the bottom. You can see where it is. The other way to do it is to just right click, which I believe on your computers is control click, right click and then save image as, and then you can title it and put it in a special place where you want to. Now, after you've done that, you've downloaded your picture or saved it, go back up here to your three pancakes, click on settings, click on set wallpaper, and then go to custom. Click the plus sign 
choose your file which is in your download folder and there it is that's the one that I wanted if I'm not sure I can click on this checkerboard and I can see the see all of the puppies that I have this is the one there it is that's the one I click open and there are my puppies and my screensaver is saved and I close it all out I X out of that and I now have my background all right now a few of you have noticed I'm sure this little button get themes next to it for now I'd rather you not use that get themes button so let's just stick to setting the wallpaper and that's it for now enjoy your time I hope you find some great 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 um, pictures <laughs>